Hi, my name is Lenny Cavazos from The Gatehouse in Grapevine, and this is my pre-placement interview video. So hopefully I will answer all the questions that you have regarding uh, my background and my experience. And the first question is, why am I excited about being a field instructor? And I have been a field instructor for quite a few years, and um, I, I think I've lost count of how many interns I've had and I love giving back to the profession and um, it's kind of a way for me to teach and also to help develop future social workers. Um, I believe that our job is to mentor those coming in to um, continue to make our profession um, as informative and um, continue to to improve services as we do more research and and um, but the only way we can do that is to be mentors and role models. And I received my MSW at the University of Texas in San Antonio and I'm currently attending the University of um, Tennessee in Knoxville and actually I defend in 10 days um, so hopefully God willing I will get my um, DSW and, um, and that will be the end of my educational journey. The licenses I currently hold right now, I hold um, an LMSW in um, the state of Texas, and um, I'm five weeks away from getting my LCSW, and I also have my LCDC in Texas. And how long have you worked as a field um, post MSW? Well, I got my MSW in 2012 and usually they ask for two years post MSW um, in order for you to be a field instructor but my school um, actually waived the two years because I had been in the field for so long so I started taking interns in 2013 so um, that's how long I've been um, working with interns and um, my expertise all my experience has been with the homeless population and um, mental illness and trauma. So right now the population we're working with is women in crisis. So the majority of them have, um, are fleeing a domestic violence situation. And, um, and of course that comes with a lot of trauma. I think trauma kind of follows all the populations and they are definitely at risk of homelessness. So we always look at that also. So, um, homelessness, mental illness, and trauma. Um, have you been a field instructor before? How long? I think we answered that. Oh, how long have you worked in the field, I think is the question I overlooked. So, I have actually worked in the field for over 25 years. I started kind of young, and, um, and I don't want to give my age, <laughs> but I've been doing this for quite a few years. Um, I think you can't see the gray hair, but I have a really good hairdresser, so um, it disguises my age a little bit. But I've always worked it. I actually started um, when I was working as um, direct care staff for a uh, home for girls that were in CPS custody or um, involved with the legal system. And I just worked my way up from there, and um, here I am. Okay, let's see my teaching style. Um, I, I, I kind of have a combination of um, coaching and kind of exploring their learning styles. I really um, have a collaborative management style, so I really ask for input and I try to get them to use critical thinking um, because it's easy for me to give them the answers, but um, it, I think it's more important that they explore um, different options and really think through decisions that are being made and really look at the ethical dilemmas and um, the pros and cons and just um, kind of look at it holistically and how it impacts at different levels also you know um, we talk about systems and theory and and so really decisions are made that way also okay and how do you provide supervision my supervision right now is individual because um, I don't have that many interns. In the past, when I've had multiple interns, 
I used to do group super, group supervision because I really enjoyed the dialogue between the the students and hearing um, how they would they would give each other feedback and and ideas and um, it was really exciting. But since I only have one intern at a time now, uh, it's individual, just like my staff, and um, they they get a lot more attention than my staff to do. But um, I try to to set that time aside for them. Any special skills or interests or expertise? Um, the DSW that I'm getting is in, um, focuses on clinical interventions and administration. And so um, I think that the special skills are, well, I don't know if they're special skills or not, but my, my um, passion is really um, not only implementing programs, but also looking at data. And so a lot of the interns that work closely with me also get the opportunity to look at the other side of, you know, collecting data and interpret, uh, interpreting them and analyzing them and what does it mean and how does this impact services and, you know, and how data can really drive um, improvements in the, in, in the interventions that we're doing because if we're not seeing improvements or significant change, then, you know, then we have to relook at the, excuse me, the services that we're, we're providing. Um, I also teach currently um, at Our Lady of the Lake University, and I teach, that right now I'm teaching the MSW Foundation Integrative Seminar Class, but I've also taught the advanced, and that goes back to my passion of working with interns. Um, I really enjoy those classes, and I really enjoy hearing um, the students' um, as they experience and they grow and they start to, to view things through the lens of a social worker. And um, it's just, it's, just, it's an amazing experience for all of us. Okay, the last, almost the last one. Any limitations, sorry my voice is going, any limitations or um, qualities that may affect your role? Um, Not really. Um, I think I've, I've been very blessed to have several MSWs work for me. And so if something happens where I'm out or I get pulled away to meetings, um, they step in and, and they're always more than happy to work with the interns also and um, be there in my, in my absence. I'm so sorry my throat's going. <coughs> I'm sorry. Last question is what kind of questions or concerns um, you may have being a field instructor. I really don't have any concerns or questions. Um, one of the things that I want to share with you is that our facility is a faith-based facility. And so we really, uh, we, don't, we don't require the, the clients, or we call them members, um, to be Christian. But we are a Christian organization, and so we... Um, also view things through that lens and try to um, show God's love in, in what we do. And so, you know, we're trying to be culturally competent. We know that not everybody's going to come in being Christian, but we try to at least um, make sure that the staff all have the same belief. So that's something to think about when you're placing somebody at our facility. So hopefully this um, video was informative. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Again, I apologize for that mess because that's me trying to finish my DSW. And um, hopefully that will get cleaned up in a few weeks. And y'all have a great um, week. And um, again, reach out if you have any questions. Take care. Bye-bye.